Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are covering the M5A3 or M4 what's usually known in other games. So I will probably just call it the M4 throughout this video. But yeah, the gun is absolutely mid, maybe even bad, but it functions perfectly as a starter. And there's also one attachment that really brings the gun up a notch. But yeah, what do you get with this gun? You get really mediocre damage. You get really good recoil, a mid fire rate. And as I said before, there's only one attachment that makes the gun even viable. Without this attachment, the gun would probably be really really bad and here yeah, you unlock this gun at level one so everybody has access to it so let's get into some numbers for this gun but before that if you're enjoying this video so far and are interested in more battlefield guides and content in the future subscribe anyways back to the m4 well all the ttk stats will be with the short barrel in mind since without the short barrel the gun really is unplayable but let's start first with the ammo types you get for this gun first of all we get our standard issue then we also get close quarters high power subsonic and armor piercing what is actually a lot i think it's the gun with the most different ammo types but we will only focus on standard issue so how much damage are we dealing we deal 22 damage per bullet meaning you need at least five bullets in the chest to kill the enemy our ttk without the short barrel 312 milliseconds and that's why i said the gun without the shot barrel would be really mediocre because your ttk of 312 milliseconds is really bad for battlefield now if we equip the short barrel that increases our fire rate and with the new fire rate we now have a ttk of 267 milliseconds making the gun not really good but i would say it's at least viable now now the best part on this gun is that we have a very high headshot multiplier like all the other ars with a 2.15 meaning if you land one headshot you no longer need five bullets to kill but only need four shots to kill and this also means that your ttk now goes from 267 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds what is very very good and i would actually argue it's almost required to get a headshot with this gun to make the gun really competitive and useful so go for the head as for magazines we will go with the standard issue extended since this gives us the most bullets for 31 per magazine and the gun also has a decent reload speed with 2.54 empty or 2.56 tactical meaning it doesn't really matter if you shoot the gun empty or you do a tactical reload the reload is basically the same so now that we know the basics of the gun let's get into some attachments so let's start with the most obvious attachment in the barrel category shortened barrel increased fire rate we go from 750 fire rate to 860 and that's literally the only thing you can put in there everything else just makes your gun worse and not competitive so go with a short barrel so yeah shortened barrel number one most important thing next up as for sides the same as always I use the Fusion Holo, you can put on whatever you want. But since we have a short barrel and a high fire rate, I would say the gun is better used in like close to medium range. So you don't really get a lot of value out of this gun on long range. So a long range scope is not really that important. Now as for magazines, you actually have a ton of choice. But as usual, the first mag always be the mag with the most ammo. This time it's the standard issue extended, giving us 40 rounds. And for all the other magazines, you have a lot of choice. You have armor piercing subsonic high power close combat i personally have the normal standard issue 30 rounds in the second spot and in my third spot i have close combat as for the under barrel attachments you'll probably see nothing that surprises you ecg light grip is what i'm running usually if you move a lot lvg grip and if you play redacted or you need more hip fire you can also use the stnr laser sight for recoil control and even better hip fire and then something i also like to do is to equip a grenade launcher and to equip a master key under this gun the master key is really good it gives you basically an instant switch shotgun can be really nice on redacted even though you don't see me use it and a grenade launcher simply it's available so why not use it as for your class or your specialist what you should run with this gun honestly since it's a really good gun as long as you equip the short barrel you can basically run this gun on everyone you can pick it on a sword engineer and support the only class where i wouldn't really recommend this gun is the recon if you plan on staying further back but if you for example play blasco aggressive this gun is also viable so honestly the m5 is just your basic assault rifle you can use it in almost every situation it's very versatile but it doesn't do anything really good so pick it on whoever you like now for my conclusion should you use the m5 yes i think it's a decent gun it's even though i say it's mediocre the problem with the m5 is just that it does it can do everything 
but it does nothing really well. As an assault rifle, if you don't let headshots, the DTK is on the slower side, and on long range, you basically need to shoot a lot and hit a lot to even get something out of this gun. And there are other guns, like the S4, for example, that just do way better on range. And for close range, you have guns like the VHX, the AM40, and stuff. So the M5, you have the problem that it can do everything but it does nothing really good so as long as if you're not like a player that does everything around you know you sometimes say to yourself oh no i will play a bit long range or close range and here maybe i stay at medium range you are better off just picking gun that fits your playstyle more like when i want to go a bit more aggressive i pick the vhx or the am40 if i want to stay on long range or medium range even i pick the s5 for example like i don't really see a reason to pick the m5 once you have unlocked other guns that do a certain thing really good but yeah overall i think the m5 is the perfect starter gun i am happy the gun has a short barrel because without it the gun would be trash but honestly i think the m5 is the gun you can pick when you just start out the game and it will carry you through it and it's also a gun you can pick later on if you're like bored or maybe you also want a little bit of a challenge or if you have really good headshot aim that the gun also does its job but anyways that's all from me today if you enjoyed the gun guide consider leaving a like and subscribing for future guides and more battlefield content thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one